hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl intentional fever if you are new here thank you so much for tuning in on this channel i share my life experiences on issues pertaining to faith lifestyle studying abroad social work and i also do a little bit of vlogging so please if you like to join this family you are more than welcome to do so just hit the red subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload a new video and to you my amazing returning subscribers thank you guys so much for coming back always So guys, in this short video, I'll be addressing a very important question I've gotten from so many people. I mean, when I opened my Instagram, finally, I received nothing less than five people asking this same question that I'll be addressing in this video. And I think I've also seen it in the comment section on some of my YouTube uh, videos, people asking me, and even before now, I've been answering people, but I think um, people are now confused because so many people are trying to apply to study social work in the UK. And the question is, as you've seen in the title, to what's the difference between MA social work and MSc social work masters master of arts in social work and master of science in social work so i'll be addressing that quickly today in this video but before that i have a special announcement to make yes so after making the announcement then we'll go into the video so um as we may know this is a period or probably you don't know but from my dm and everything i found out that so many people are now interested to study social work in the uk which is a very very good idea and uh, so many people who have sent the application since last the others are still sending so when i open my dm again oh my gosh first of all guys you needed to see what my dm looks like when i finally opened it after about one month it was scary okay so um i found out that so many people are sat now they are having interviews unfortunately before now last year i've helped so many people during their interview they give them anything then they ask me okay what should i expect and so many people keep asking me in my dm please i have an interview coming up in the next couple of days in the next couple of weeks please can you give me suggestion what should i expect so most times i notice that people are not aware that i have a video on this channel we have already talked about social work university interview please you do yourself good i'll leave the link so that you check it out also check the description box that video has been very helpful to so many people many people that i know that started their social work program in september that video was what helped them okay to navigate their interview and they passed and they got the admission so i'm also saying this this probably this is not the main announcement but this also is an announcement that if you are interested in studying social work or anything i have so many videos that i've, I've made about social work admission application process for masters in social work they are first the first videos i made on this channel so please try as much as possible to check videos before coming to dm to ask me questions because most times the questions people ask me are questions that have been addressed or have addressed or have answered in some of my videos that being said that's not the main thing so there is something i had an idea because of the number of people having interview at the same time asking for guidance and for some reasons i missed out of some of course i was away for some time because of my wedding preparations and then um so many people i couldn't help them so i now have uh, i now felt or i thought of something and that is what i want to discuss with you guys um i'm now planning to start a uh, what is it called a telegram group yes so i'll be creating a telegram group i'll leave the link in the description box okay so go ahead and check the description box if you want to be part of this telegram group all right just click the link in the description box and then you will definitely be part of it in that group basically i think it is a time it will be like a community where we can support ourselves for instance people that are doing um applications now having interviews i believe that we can help one another i mean when you have an interview and then this with this particular university there might be someone else because i know for instance liverpool hope university i have so many of my uh, of my subscribers who got admission there september last year okay and we navigated their interviews and everything this year again i've gotten some people who gave me good news that they already have um admission to study um social work at the same university come september this year and so many people 
are still waiting. So I have I know someone that still have a uh, what is it called interview with them. So you see that there are so many similarities, different universities, different ways, and sometimes interviews depend on the university. One university, the way they do their interview is different from the other. And I believe that we can form this community. So when you apply to a particular university, you can come there and share. It's not just about when you have question. Okay, I believe that based on your experience, it can also help during visa application if you have any issues or you experience something you might want others to learn from you put it on that group those that have interviews coming up will catch it those that have this application coming up they will catch the information and they will work with that i think this is the best way to actually help us because i believe we are a community already and sometimes because of the way Instagram is, you know, and my DMs, so many people send me DMs every day, every single hour. It keeps popping in. And maybe I might address someone now and I will say, okay, yeah, this is it. And somebody asked me similar question. For instance, somebody was asking me for a link with somebody in Liverpool Hope University. I know I chatted someone last year that gained admission there last year and we were even planning to meet up. All right. So that, like, I say it won't be possible that last year. It should be this year. But believe me, I don't know her name. I don't know who she is. Okay. So as I went this person is making this request do you know anybody in liverpool hope university the answer is yes i do but i don't know who she is i don't know her name i don't even know how to find her on instagram here because i can't remember her ig uh, handle you don't understand so i think this uh, telegram group is something that will help us so if you are interested in joining this group which i'm sure you will you have nothing to lose definitely go ahead and check the description box yes to be fair with you can i be honest as i thought i'm filming this video i'm saying this by faith Yes, because I've not created any group yet, so... <laughs> Yes, this is an impromptu. I just felt like because yesterday I checked my DM, these questions kept coming in and I was just reflecting and I felt like, okay, I think this should be the way out, all right? So I said, now I've not created the group, obviously. And um, for me to create the group, I need to get a new SIM card. No, it's not going to be my WhatsApp number. If not... <laughs> Yeah, it's not going to be my WhatsApp number, guys. No, 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 no. I'm going to go and get that's a sacrifice, too. And this morning, uh, aha, uh -huh, okay, in case you want to know, I'm dressed and I'm going to church. I'll still edit this video, I'll still upload it before going out and then go to, to a shop, buy SIM card, right? And a lot of that. So, this is a, a faith video. Yes, you know, favor is a faith lady. I, I, I work by faith a lot, okay? And that's one thing you should take from me if you are my follower on this channel. All right. So, that being said, just go ahead check the description box by faith and you will see the link to the telegram <laughs> group page for the intentional team all right the intentional family yes we are there to support one another help one another don't hold information don't keep information to yourself if you have any ugly experience share it so that people will learn from it if you had a very good experience or a trick that helped you share it there so that people will help themselves i want to believe that that group in no distant time will get populated that being said let's go into what we have for today so guys, the difference between MA social work and MSC social work is nothing. Yes, so in essence, there is no difference between MA social work and MSC social work. They are practically the same thing. Now, I've noticed that, um, the, the, like, maybe if you want to know, so why, so why are some investors giving MA? Why are some uh, universities giving MSC? Well, in my own opinion, I think the reason is based on probably the faculty that the Department of Social Work is situated in. For instance, I think University of Sheffield, if I'm not mistaken, I got admission there. Okay, I think they offer MSc social work. And the uh, Department of Social Work is under the Faculty of Sociological Sciences or something like that, okay? So, because it's under a faculty, sociological science, um, uh, sociological studies or sociological science, like it's under a faculty that other departments offer MSc. Probably that's why social work is also MSc. Now, someone has said, I've noticed that universities that offer MSc, they are more expensive than universities that offer MA. It's a lie, it's just a coincidence. University of Sheffield is a topmost, is one of the the top most universities in the UK. So they are, they are what is it called? The tuition fee is expensive. Okay, I'm not sure what Manchester University offer, not that MA or MSc, but their tuition fee also is very expensive. Post most universities, so many of them, you find out that it depends on just the rank of the university. Some universities are just naturally expensive. So if they offer MSc, then it's expensive. If they offer MA, it's still expensive. All right. So it's not about um being expensive or not. Now, as a social um in in the UK, for you to qualify uh, as a social worker in the UK, your um 
you can graduate with diploma in social work. Yes, when you have diploma in social work, you can be registered and licensed as a social worker in, in the UK. Yes, diploma, diploma in social work, because it's almost the same thing. The difference between diploma in social work and master's in social work is just that you will not have to do dissertation. Yes, you won't write project, you won't write thesis, whatever you call it, you will not. But the placement, the teachings, the everything, they are practically the same thing. All right. So if you graduate with diploma, if you come in with diploma, that's why some people have been asking me taught class and all of this. I came with this. I came with that. Yes. If you can go on and do diploma in social work, once you qualify and you graduate with your diploma in social work, nothing stops you from being registered with social work England and you can start practicing social work in the UK. OK, so whether you graduated with diploma in social work, MA in social work, MSc in social work or BSc in social work, BA in social work, you are a qualified social worker in the UK. Regardless regardless of the academic qualification, regardless of MA or MSc. So there is no difference between them. It's just coincidence or probably from my observation, probably the faculty that the uh, department is situated in, then they decide to give MSc. There is no difference, okay? It's the same qualification. All that matters is that you have a social work qualification and you can practice. It's the same, okay? So um, I think uh, I have nothing more to say um, about that, but I decided to film this video because of repeatedly I keep getting this question and people seem to be confused so take it for me there's no difference between ma social work and msc social work and please don't forget okay check by faith check the um description box okay for the link to the telegram group of the intentional team the intentional family how we'll be helping one another support one another if you have any information drop it there if you have any question drop it there you know sometimes i can be busy all right and not respond to your instagram post but i believe if you if you post it there there might be somebody that have that answer that has information that you need and the person can just give you the answer while waiting for me to come all right so i think this is a way to even lessen the burden on me to reply to dms or also help you not to miss out of information because you are waiting for me to respond to your dm i hope that will help all right guys so with that i think i've come to the end of this video thank you guys for watching but please don't forget to give this video thumb up like it please go ahead give it thumb up and please if you've not subscribed to my channel i wonder what you are still waiting for go ahead and click that red subscribe button also click the bell so that whenever i release any video you don't miss out of it some people were like hey boy, i didn't release any video this christmas i wasn't just posting them on instagram and whatsapp and all that's why okay yes i release video every week i've been that consistent so guys i'll be seeing you guys in my next video but until then make sure you stay blessed remain intentional and take care of yourself bye